Hello, I am Taylor Lockwood, and this is The Good, The Bad, and The Deadly. Mushrooms are good for us in many ways. They're an important part of nature, they're beautiful, they're great to eat, and they're healthy for us. But if you want to hunt them, cook them for yourself or others, or you just want to know what's growing in your yard, it's important to know about the poisonous ones. So if you're looking for edibles, this program will better prepare you to tell the difference between the edible species and the toxic ones, and will help you enjoy the good ones that you find. Now let's get some of the mushroom myths out of the way. If an animal can eat it, humans can too. Not true. Some animals are able to eat mushrooms and other fungi that would be deadly to us. Dogs are especially vulnerable because they're grazers and they often eat mushrooms if they find them. Keep in mind that some mushrooms that are mildly toxic to humans can be fatal to dogs or cats. Be very cautious about mushrooms that have been picked where herbicides or fungicides might have been used. Some fungi are very adept at absorbing toxic compounds, so it's recommended that you don't eat mushrooms picked near roadways or other suspicious locations. Even if it doesn't have a cap and stem and looks like an alien from outer space, it still might be a mushroom. There are no simple rules to tell if a mushroom is poisonous, but there are warning signs. Identifying characteristics of these amanitas include they have caps and stems, and they don't grow on wood. They grow as single mushrooms on the ground, in the grass, or near trees. They have white gills, which are not attached to the stem, and they have white spores. They also have a ring around the stem with a cup at the base. These are considered lookalikes to a classic favorite, the chanterelle. These are the real thing. This has real gills, not ridges, and the stem is generally much thinner. Psychoactive mushrooms have been a part of Mesoamerican culture and spirituality for hundreds and possibly thousands of years. Real psilocybes generally have a blue staining reaction in the stem and cap and have very dark spores. This beauty is one of the most commonly eaten toxic mushrooms. With all its reputation, you'd think that Amanita muscaria would be the deadliest mushroom in the world. It is not. The bottom line is this. We all need to respect nature. It can give life and it can take it away as well. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the woods. Mm -hmm.